This is a story about the engineering, project planning, manufacturing, and construction of Holcim's U.S. cement plant in St. Genevieve, Missouri, a greenfield project that produces 12,000 tons of clinker a day with the world's most advanced technology and equipment. It is also a story about teamwork in which F.L. Smith worked closely with Holcim on overall planning and with the lead contractor on final design and execution. Not least, it is a story of exceptional logistics and timing, which enabled F.L. Smith to complete the massive project on schedule. Proximity to river transport made the St. Genevieve site ideal. However, an adjacent nature reserve limited the space available for development, as did the need to minimize the impact on the area's unique river landscape. Additionally, the plant had to be designed and engineered to operate continuously next to one of the world's most unpredictable rivers. These considerations called for the deployment of new technologies and innovative, customized solutions. Activity on the ground was meticulously prepared for by intensive back office planning. Highly skilled F.L. Smith project managers were involved from a very early stage, working closely with their counterparts at Holson who were engaged in much of the initial planning. The process was driven by a project management philosophy that centers on regular customer contact and open dialogue. Teams of engineers from F.L. Smith and Holcim worked together on details ranging from the macro, such as what capacities are appropriate and which equipment should be used to the micro, such as how many filters and bolts are needed, and everything in between. Meanwhile, the contractor began the formidable task of site mobilization and civil work, encompassing roads, utilities, and preparation of the plant site. The first order of business is to make the harbor ready for barges arriving with equipment. In order to streamline scheduling and minimize crowding at the main site, many components are assembled at two pre-assembly sites downriver from the main construction area. Silos are put in place before plant construction begins. At the same time, foundations are laid for the main plant structures. Precise scheduling by F.L. Smith Logistics Planners maximizes the space at the plant site that can be used for actual construction, rather than for assembly and storage of large components. F.L. Smith field experts are on site to assist and guide during the installation. The site team is responsible for planning, as well as for on-site quality inspection of the work that is carried out by various contractors. Located in the American Midwest, St. Genevieve is subject to pronounced changes in weather. All possibilities are covered by contingency plans to minimize disruption of the construction schedule. Even in a project defined by large equipment, St. Genevieve's preheater tower stands out. It is 120 meters high, made of steel, and includes huge components, such as the world's largest calcinar. 
Mounting the pre-assembled components requires the service of a small army of cranes, more than 50 at peak operation. Each crane lift, as well as overall preheater assembly, must be done with extreme precision. a project of international proportions. Building the St. Genevieve plant involves coordination of manufacturers from all around the world. The casting of the kiln live rings, the world's largest and approximately 220 tons each, manufactured in Korea, give an idea of the technical and logistical challenges overcome by F.L. Smith's designers and planners. The three live rings are designed to exacting tolerances to precisely fit a kiln measuring 6.6 .6 meters in diameter and 98 meters in length. A live ring takes less than four minutes to cast. It is then tempered and machined during the next three and a half months before being shipped around the globe to St. Genevieve. With the arrival of the kiln shells and live rings at St. Genevieve, the stage is set for on-site kiln pre-assembly. It is a daunting process to manage the complex task of assembling a kiln capable of producing a staggering 12,000 tons per day, especially within the tolerances required for this project. Meticulous planning and on-site coordination smooth the way for final assembly. The massive primary crusher is assembled and prepared for the first test runs. The large dome in which raw material from the quarry is stored is almost completed. In the center of the dome, the huge stacker reclaimer receives the finishing touches. Two ATOX mills for raw grinding are completed and prepared for initial test runs. Cold test runs are also performed on the enormous crossbar cooler. Four major OK mills with a separator on top of the mill housing are completed and made ready to transform clinker into finished cement. The quarry is buzzing with activity as the kiln and other key pieces of equipment are assembled. Guests are awestruck by the scale of the equipment and the construction. The Ethel Smith commissioning and construction teams work together to coordinate the transition to commissioning activities. A state-of-the-art central control room is just about ready for initial tests of the electrical systems. It is the heart of plant activities. One operator can control the entire production line from this room. 
the fully automated RoboLab, including an industrial robot and sample preparation and analytical equipment, is already engaged in simulating activities involved in the plant's commissioning. A massive undertaking, completed on schedule, the St. Genevieve plant is truly a record breaker. With 4 million metric tons annual capacity, it has the world's largest single kiln clinker production line. Designed to minimize environmental impact, the plant's emission limits are among the world's lowest, setting new standards in the US. Work on the plant drew on the resources of more than 600 engineers and other professionals at F.L. Smith centers in Denmark, India, and the U.S. Extensive testing and planning enabled the St. Genevieve plant to start up and reach full production in record time. The plant reached U.S. and world record status on November the 21st, 2009 when the kiln was pushed to an equivalent clinker production level of 13,160 tons per day.